What's up, guys? What's up, guys? It's been a minute since we've been on YouTube. Do you guys know that? Yeah. How long has it been? Um, hello. Who are you? I get it. Where did you come from? Up, up there. Back there? Yeah. Before we catch up on everything, we, oh my goodness, that guy. He mm. sat on all the tamales I just bought. No, 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 no. Chill out. Hi, I'm here with Gamer Forever Us. This morning, Preston told me that some kid pushed him down the stairs at school. What? That's what I said. You know you're recording, right? Yeah, I'm getting your reaction. I was very appalled by the situation. And I asked him why that kid pushed him down the stairs. And he said, I didn't know. And he hurt his leg. So what would you have done in that situation? If I got pushed? Yeah. I would tell the teacher. If the kid walks by and sees me getting hurt, I'll tell him to tell the teacher that I'm hurt and some kid pushed me down the stairs. Good job. He didn't even tell his teacher. And he was scared to tell me. You shouldn't be scared to tell your parents, right? If somebody's hurting you. Yeah. So don't be scared, guys. We are home now. We were not at my friend's Christina's house very long because that one decides to poop in his pants. Hey! Who pooped in your pants? I put it poop in. No, that. you pooped in your pants. No, I put it in the pants. Why did you do that? Sorry. That's disgusting. Who is disgusting? I put it the theme. No, you're disgusting. I put it the Please don't do that anymore. I put it the theme. I don't understand guys. He has been potty trained for Mom, almost a year now. He was having way too much fun, so we pooped in his pants. <laughs> so we left. And now we're gonna eat lunch between three kids. It's just, it's just been a lot, okay? This little one over here, hi. She's been super good. Look at her, she's an angel. She's 10 months old now. Sophia Ngong Ngong. She's the best. She's an angel. I bought some tamales from this mom in a Facebook group that I'm in. Shout out to Leticia for these homemade tamales. They are delicious. Thank you. No. Sophia. Ngong Ngong. Mum Mum. Mum Mum Nari. Yoi. Stella. Say hi, Stella. We also have a little visitor. Hi, Stella. <laughs> this is the tamale situation, guys. I'm about to dig in. You! Are you eating all my food? Yeah. What's in your mouth? <gasps> You're disgusting. Hi guys, I just wanted to pop on here real quick and just kind of give you a little update about what's been going on. Gosh. Okay, good. I thought that was the alert for the kids. Uh, they're down for a nap right now. I just have a little bit of time to just kind of talk to you guys uninterrupted. With this whole pandemic situation, I feel like Everybody is just going crazy, shaky right now for everybody. Everybody's on edge. We don't know what's going on. We're advised to stay home at all times. And I feel like it's just driving everyone nuts. Not only is it driving the adults crazy, but the kids are going crazy. They're cooped up inside the house all day. That's not normal for them, you know? Everyone needs a little break, fresh air. You know, they need their friends and they're not having that. So they're going through a lot too. So you gotta sympathize for them because they're tiny little humans and they don't know how to control their emotions. We're grown adults and we barely know how to control our emotions. So imagine how hard it is for them. The last couple months, I've literally been feeling like I've just been hanging on by a thread and I'm just on pure survival mode. I'm just trying to get by day by day with taking care of the kids and it's just the same routine over and over. We wake up, breakfast, by the time they're done eating breakfast, you gotta do lunch and then it's down for a nap and then it's bath time, then it's dinner and then you blink and you're like, did you even brush your teeth? <laughs> it's so sad but it's true you guys. 
and being a stay-at-home mom it's tough because all day long you're dealing with screaming kids and my boys they fight so much and that's another reason why we haven't been vlogging is because they've been driving me crazy with their fights and it's always just pure chaos in my house so it's very very hard to get any quality content out there because they're just screaming all day long i've had several breakdowns where i just cry i think the other day i had a panic attack i've had it up to here with everything you know what i mean and i know i am not the only one feeling this way i know you guys are feeling it too because every time i post a really hard day on my instagram you guys always reach out to me and tell me about your feelings and you thank me for being honest with how i feel because you guys are going through it too since i've taken a break off of youtube i have really been able to connect with you guys on a more personal level over on instagram I'm able to answer your DMs on there But yeah, it's just been a struggle and I understand you guys I know how you feel you guys look at my hair seriously It's been a whole year since I've been able to get it done I got my hair done on my birthday last year and my birthday is coming up again So it's been a whole year since i've had a real haircut A real color. I'm just not feeling myself. You know what I mean? I feel like i'm fresh off the boat I just came here from Vietnam. My name is Yuen. Okay, that's just the reality of it. I hope that I'm able to create more videos for you guys because I really miss y'all like a lot. I feel like every time I'm going through something, I just hop on here and I talk to you guys about it and I feel a lot better. That's always been my way of getting through my rough patches of motherhood because I know there's a whole community of us out there that's uplifting and non-judgmental and I really appreciate that. So thank you guys for hanging in there with me that's basically it i will check in with you guys more when the kids get up it's about 7 30 and we're going to call it a night we're gonna do family movie night tonight because it's saturday and i'm going to give the boys one of their christmas presents early because they deserve it so let's go give it to them this one and this one Let's go, Sophia! Come on! Let's go! Oh, boys! Are you ready to open it? Yeah! JJ, here you go. Thank you. What do you say? Thank you, Mommy! You're welcome. Woo-hoo! 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 What is that? A stingray. A stingray? <laughs> One of the boys' Christmas presents this year are these comfy critters, which are stuffed animals slash blankets. They're so stinking cute and comes in lots of characters. There's PJ Masks, Paw Patrol, different animals. You can check out their website to see everything they've got. And right now, they have a special promo. Buy two, get 15% off, plus free shipping. They're so adorable, and the boys love using it as a blanket. And then I roll it up for them to hug as a little plushie. Yeah. <laughs>